Today is Saturday, 4th of June, 2022, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is, There's Power in You. Our theme scripture is taken from Ephesians 3, verse 20, and it says, Now unto him that is able to do, exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Hallelujah. You are full of power. Pastor begins. There's authority and there's power. We have authority in the name of Jesus, but we have power in the presence and presence of the Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Pastor says, you have not only the highest authority, but also the extraordinary ability of God within your spirit. It doesn't flow from heaven to you. You got it when the Holy Spirit came to make his home in you. Oh, hallelujah. All of the power of divinity is at work in you. No wonder Jesus said in Matthew 10 verse 8, Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. And so, Pastor says, you have it. And that's why you can give it. Hallelujah. Oh, that's why Peter could say to the lame man at the gate of the temple called beautiful, Such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. That we can find in Acts 3 verse 6. And the man was gloriously healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peter knew he had something to give. He had great confidence in what he had. Today, Pastor says, you have the same Holy Spirit that Peter had. You have power in you. Jesus said, and you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. That we can find in Acts 1 verse 8. So, Pastor says in conclusion, recognize, affirm, and put the power in you to walk. Every day, glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take a confession now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me, the Holy Spirit came to live in me. Therefore, the kingdom, the power, the glory, righteousness and dominion of Christ are manifested in and through me. Oh, I'm full of power. And with this power, I heal the sick. I cleanse the lepers. I raise the dead. I cast out devils and do mighty works for the glory of God. All right, for further study, please read 2 Corinthians 4 verse 7, Acts 1 verse 8 of the Amplified Classic, and then Ephesians 3, 20 to 21 of the Amplified Classic says, Now, we'd like to invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by saying this prayer. Say, O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. In consequence of the action of His power that is at work within us, is able to come.